everyone! I don't normally upload videos on Friday, but today I'm making an exception because today I am doing a super fun collab video with a friend of mine, Amelia, from Amelia Liana. You guys probably already watch her, but if you don't, you need to go watch her. She is so much fun. She does great videos. She does haul videos and tutorials. She does weekly vlogs, and she's super funny and also has a major sweet tooth like myself. Plus, she has the cutest accent of life. We wanted to come up with our top beauty launches of 2015. So I managed to narrow it down to my five favorites and she has done the same thing on her channel. So I will link to her video in case you guys are interested. You should definitely go and check it out. Tell her Rachel sent you and you're new. So I really wanted to try and split it the best I can, the best that you can split five. Unless I included half, that would be, that would be cheating. <laughs> Can't do that. So I included two drugstore favorites and three high-end favorites to make up. Wow, magic. <laughs> wow, that was a little over dramatic. Oopsies. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is a drugstore product, and this is the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Smoke Isime Powdered Eyeliner Pen. Whoa, this is crazy awesome. It is in the color brune. <laughs> That's not a word. It's like brown slash marron. So I kind of combine the two. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's brown, but it's actually more of like a bronzy color. So it's got a bit of a sponge tip applicator on it. If you're looking for something that's gonna give you a really nice winged liner, this is not not what I would go for. But it does give you a very nice smoky look and it's very highly pigmented as well. I actually used it in my Get Ready With Me Valentine's Day video, so I will link that and put a link on the screen in case you guys are interested in that and seeing how to incorporate it into a makeup look. And that video was all drugstore products, so bonus. It's a deep brown, but it's got that little bit of shimmer to it, which makes it really, really pretty to smoke it out um, on the eye. And I just, I really, really like this. So I'm probably going to pick up a couple of more if you've tried them. I like lean over because I need to like wipe it off my hand. It stays on really well. Not coming off my hand. I have several of their Silkisime liners as well, and they're all beautiful. I really, really like them. So i um, excited that they came out with this. Super fun product. Next is what I have on my lips right now, and it is by Too Faced, and it's their Melted Lipsticks. Now, I know these launched last year, I believe, um, but this is part of their new spring collection, their new spring collection of colors, so I thought I would include it because it is a new color for 2015, and this is in the color Melted Strawberry, and I love this color in particular from their new launches. First of all, let's talk about the formula. Like, wait, I'm itchy. Itchy, 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 itchy. Okay, so first of all, before I get into the color, the actual formulation of these things is insane. I am obsessed with them. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know how much I love these lipsticks, and I have, I think, three or four, maybe five. No. I don't have five, do I? No, I think I only have, I think I only have three. I'm gonna pretend that I only have three. But I love them because it really does feel like a melted down lipstick on your lips. It's very creamy, it's got great pigmentation. I even really love the applicator, which is another sponge tip applicator. And the only thing I don't love is it is a little bit tricky to get a very precise line, so I sometimes go in with just like a, a lip liner brush and I'll just go in and clean up the edges if I need to. For the color, it is like the spring version of red lipstick. So it's got this sort of a neon-y vibe to it, which I love, and I was super excited when I was testing it on my hand in the store, and I was like, oh, I need to have this. So it makes it a little bit more of a, a nice bright for spring. For number three, we're talking about a product that I have already talked about in a couple of, couple of videos already. I'm obsessed, and I'm sorry, but I need to say it again how much I love these products. Because I feel like if I talked about them in a video, and I've used them in a bunch of videos, and then I don't mention them as one of the best new innovations for beauty in 2015, I feel like you guys would be like, you're lying. And that is the YSL Tintin Oil Lip Glosses, I wanna say. And I have two colors. I have one in Undress Me, and then the other one is in Crush Me Orange, and they're both insanely gorgeous. I used the uh, Undress Me in my morning routine, and I fell in love with it. It very much feels like a bit of a tinted oil on your lips, so it feels very hydrating, and it's a great color to just throw in your purse. I actually had this one in my purse, and usually have this one in my purse. Like I find because it's winter time here in Canada, it is like all of the snow outside and it is super, super cold right now. So my lips get really chapped really easily and I just find that this adds that nice dose of hydration to my lips. It covers up any sort of, you know, that starting to be kind of cracked lips and you're like, no. It looks terrible with any sort of color. So this kind of glosses over everything and fills in all of the lines and it just looks oh so pretty and this color is just a very soft pink and 
barely there in terms of the the color just makes your lips look beautiful and then this one is a really cool color because when you put it on originally it looks super orange like when I was testing this out in um, my haul video I was like testing it out my hand and I was like that is way more orange than I thought it was gonna be and then I was like dabbing at it to kind of get a sense of the texture and then it changed color the coolest thing ever so it turned in this really nice wearable corally pink which is beautiful and then next is the thing that I dropped on the floor <laughs> And I was hoping that it would stop being all bubbly and stuff so I could show you what it looked like, but it has not. And that is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Normally it doesn't have bubbles on the top. Again, I dropped it. I'm sorry. This I picked up a couple of weeks ago and it seemed interesting because I love a good primer. I'm always looking to try new things. And basically what it is, is you spray it on your face and you can spray it either before you apply your makeup or after. And it's supposed to do what a normal primer would do and just kind of help adhere the makeup to your face but it also is supposed to add like a little bit of a dose of hydration. My skin is a little bit more on the acne oily prone side, so I was like, oh, hydration. But it is definitely more of a water-based hydration. It's not like spraying oil all over your face. I personally prefer to use it as a primer versus a setting spray. I don't know, to me it just works better that way. Um, so that's what I've ended up using it as, and I used it today, and I love the results. I was worried that it was gonna end up being sort of gimmicky, and you kind of spray it on your face and nothing happens, and then you're like, oh, I just bought like a bottle of water. But I do notice the difference, and and that's why I included this product because I really do like this and I've been using it a lot since I got it. So, good product. And last but not least, my final drugstore product, number five. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless uh, Powder. And this is in Classic Ivory in case you are similar toned to myself. And I am obsessed with this powder. It is so insanely good guys if you're looking for something that's going to give a little bit more coverage this is great it's not going to settle into any fine lines and it really does feel like it mattifies everything on your face which is awesome and very necessary for the t-zone i also purchased their foundation i have not tried it yet but i am curious to see if it has sort of a similar effect with the whole like mattifying and poreless-ifying that isn't a word i personally use powders very very sparingly i use them basically just on my t-zone and that is pretty much it and I try and use as little as I possibly can but I really like this because it does almost feel like it um, smooths out any sort of pores or any sort of um, acne spots or anything like that it almost gives this very flawless kind of finish to your face so that's always good and it doesn't settle into any like creases or anything under your eyes as well bonus and those are all of my products that I have been absolutely loving for 2015 don't forget to go and check out Amelia's video I will link it down in the info bar below in case you guys are interested and for the, all of you who are new to Rach Loves welcome and um, I hope you guys subscribe so you can check out new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more of these type of like top five top ten kind of list videos and I'll do some more in the future if you have any recommendations for ones you guys want to see leave them in the comments below I love hearing from you guys and that's everything I hope you all have an amazing amazing weekend and I will see you guys all on Tuesday love you girls Mwah.